Good morning, good morning, good morning. Lisa here. This is Lisa 6 and 3. And here is God's strength for you and me this day. We got a lot of reading this morning, but this is some good stuff. Very familiar scripture here. Let's go. 2 Chronicles 20. We're going to start at verse, we're going to jump around. Verse um, 2. Then some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea, from Syria. Syria. Three, and Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. So Judah gathered together to ask help from the Lord, and from all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. Five. Then Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? Before, <clears throat> are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdom of the nations? And in your hand, is there not power and might so that no one is able to withstand you? Are you not our God who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend, <laughs> forever? And they dwelled in it and have built you a sanctuary in it for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon you, sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this temple and in your presence for your name, is in this temple and cry out to you in our affliction and you will hear and say and now here are the people of Oman, Moab and Mount Seir whom you would not let Israel invade when they came out of the land of Egypt but they turned from them and did not destroy them here they are now mm -mm -mm. rewarding us by coming to throw us out of your possession, possession which you have given to us to inherit. Oh, our God, will you not judge them? Mm. Think about that. For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. Now all Judah with their little ones, their wives and their children stood before the Lord. Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehazel, the son of Zechariah. Listen, all of you of Judah and you inhabitants of Jerusalem, and you too, King Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid, nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Yes, tomorrow go down against them. They will surely come upon, uh, come upon the descendants of Zig, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jero. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you. O oh, Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow, Go out against them, for the Lord is with you. The Lord, I, I read all of that to say, the Lord is with you. <laughs> what is the lesson in that experience with the children of Judah, the children of Israel? They got so many names. Every season that they're going through something, they have a different name. Jehoshaphat cried out to the Lord. I mean, he was like, look, Lord, these people don't come after us, the people that we could have taken out a long time ago. And here they are trying to take away what you blessed us with. Mm -mm -mm. But what did the Lord say? The battle is not yours. I see what's going on. Only thing you need to do is position yourself. This is what I wrote. The lessons that we learn here in this message today. One, we turn to God for help. Don't let problems intimidate you. Let it motivate you.
to pray and seek God and ask for help in praying. He wasn't praying by himself. He called everybody together to remember how big God is. He reminded him. You remember the promise that you gave to your friend Abraham? He reminded him of the relationship. Remember what God has done. What did he do? If he did it before, he can do it again. Appeal to God's character. What did he say? Are you not the most powerful, almighty God? He repealed, he boosted his ego a little bit. And admit that you can't do it yourself. He said, we can't fight this. We can't fight all these people. We got babies, we got wives. We, we just don't have what we used to have. And then God says, rely on me, rely on my power. That's our strength today. And it does take courage to exercise our faith. I want us to exercise, practice faith today. It takes courage to rely and to lean on faith because so many of us want to go and fight the battle ourselves. And the Holy Spirit saying, this ain't even yours to fight. Only thing you need to do is prepare by praying and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. See the victory. We thank God for the victory today. Relax in your faith and watch God move. Mm -mm -mm. That's a good word. This has been Lisa with Lisa 63. Y'all go make it a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Be blessed.